Hello, welcome to my channel, Doll Talks for my short lady. In this video on technical writing, I'll be dealing with the topic of how to write good user instructions. Now, user instructions are not written in isolation. They are always written as part of a user manual. So let us look at the different parts of a user manual. The first one is it gives general background of the product and some of its salient features. The second aspect of a user manual is always the instructions, whether to operate, maintain, repair, install, assemble, etc. The third part of a user manual are generally the special notices like note, caution, warning, and danger. And the last aspect of a user manual is the contact information of the manufacturer of the product or a service provider. So next, let us look at a few tips to write good instructions. So instructions are to be broken into very, very short sentences. They should be arranged in a logical sequence and they should also be numbered. The next thing is that all instructions should be paired with well-labeled images. Just in case somebody illiterate is trying to go through the manual, they can just understand what to do on the basis of the pictures. The third thing is that one can use good headings and subheadings to guide the user into easy to follow steps. The fourth thing is that we need to insert the special notices wherever necessary while performing a task. And the last thing is that all good instructions should be written in the imperative style. So let us understand what is the imperative style and why is it the style of choice for good instructions. Now, there are many ways you can frame a sentence. The first example I'm giving is of the impersonal style. I'm going to read out. The casting is removed from the mold by the operator who then. So if you're talking to the reader, this seems a very roundabout way of talking to the reader. Let us look at the next example. This is the indirect style, which is a slight improvement over the impersonal style. The operator removes the casting from the mold, he then. Again, it is not talking directly to the user. So let us look at a third form, which is the direct style. You remove the casting from the mold, you then. So you will see that this is much better than the first two styles. However, the pronoun you keeps on repeating in every sentence. Since I'm the reader, I already know that the instructions refer to me. So we can do away with the you in every sentence. So the fourth and the best option is the imperative style, which is also known as the command style, where you simply tell people what to do, something like, stand up, sit down, close the door. So let me read it out for you. Remove the casting from the mold, then place. So I know directly what I have to do. The writer just has to tell me and I will follow the steps. So now that we have a fair idea on how to frame good user instructions, let me walk you through an example. In this case, I have taken up the example of an oximeter because this is the product that I've used in the earlier videos. So I'll start with the general product background. The pulse oximeter is used to measure the oxygen level of the blood. An oximeter plays a role only in giving a clue that the patient has a sudden drop in the oxygen level. Next, we have the step-by-step -step instructions. Please note that the instructions are short. They are numbered, they are in the imperative, and they are also accompanied by an image. So the first one says, sit down and rest for five minutes. Step two, switch on the oximeter. Now before we go to step three, there is a little note which says, remove any nail polish or false nails because this will interfere with the reading. Then we have step three where it says, Place the oximeter on your middle or index finger. Step four says, keep the oximeter in place for a minute. And again, step four is 
followed by a note which says that the reading takes time to steady and hence the oximeter has to be kept in place for more than a minute. We move to the last step which says record the highest result once the reading is stable. And there is a note after it which says that in case your reading is 92% or less, please call the emergency number. This is all I have for you in this video. For more videos on this topic, please refer to the description box below. The name of my channel is again Doll Talks from a Shop Lady. And with that, I will say thank you and bye.